Hi guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit and welcome to the last episode of Healing Habits. I am excited that we have gotten to do this journey together and I am prayerful about what is to come, but this has been really fun and I just wanted to wrap it up today with some general ideas over what we've been talking about. Habits are not something that you just do and then you're good to go. It's something that we just continually do on a regular basis until they become more natural, but there's always the process of change. And that is a very exciting thing that we have this brain that's malleable, that we have the ability to continually choose to go in a good direction, a healing direction. And as James Clear says, if you're having trouble changing your habits, the problem isn't you. The problem is your system. Bad habits repeat themselves again and again, not because you don't want to change, but because you have the wrong system for change. So if you have come to the end of this series with me and you have not seen that your habits have stuck, that is quite all right. I would encourage you to go back and look at your system. Remember that most people get focused on the goal and they forget that it is the system that wins the game. He used that example of a team playing a football game. Do they look at the scoreboard the entire time that they're playing the game, looking to see that they have won the game? No, they practice doing the things on the field that will help them achieve that goal. But their focus is not on the scoreboard the whole, whole time or else they're not going to win. Um, they need to be focused on the system. So if you don't have a system that's working for you right now, that's okay. Just get to that point where you step back and look at what's going on. Perhaps you're sabotaging yourself by your identity of who you keep saying that you are. Maybe you need to really rethink what kind of habits will lead to the type of person you want to become. Maybe you've taken on too much all at once, trying to think that you can change every area of your life at the same time. Instead, Let's do the compound interest type of behavior change. Just like when you invest money, you put a dollar in each day. After 100 days, it's not just $100. You've got $100 plus interest. And that investment continually, the small little investment will compound on itself and create results down the road. So even though today it doesn't feel good or you think it doesn't matter if you put that dollar in, it does because it will compound. Even if you don't think it matters if you eat another junk food day, it does matter in the long run when it's a compound interest. So keep thinking about your identity. Think about who you are. I would prayerfully ask you to consider letting the Lord change that about you because he is the power source. But for you in your life, I know that we each have different goals, different systems, different habits we're trying to change or improve upon. And I really pray that you're able to make some good progress this year. I know that we've had some difficult times and I'm sure we will have more difficult times to come. We are not promised to have an easy life while we are here. The good news for people like me that believe in the hope of eternal life is that we don't have to get caught up in the day-to-day -day troubles. We can realize that Jesus overcame the world and we already know who won. And so we just live in that faith and we move in that direction knowing that God has a plan. But for each of us, I just pray that we can really make some of those healing habits stick so that we become the person that we really want to be. And that is the type of person that can love other people in a good way. I think we can transform the world and our own lives at the same time if we can really change some of these little simple things that we do on a daily basis. So I hope that you have uh, enjoyed this series. I certainly have. It's been a lot of fun. 
I look forward to seeing you for some upcoming videos that I have in, in mind, that I have planned. And so for today, I just hope and pray that you live your life on fire. I just thought it would be sort of funny to land the plane here. We talked about identity and I'm like, I'm a Barbie girl living in a Barbie world. <laughs> These are my Barbie shoes. At least that's what I think. They're like, I know I've talked about them being my Cinderella shoes, but it's that Barbie pink. And I just think they're really cute. Very fun and another way to live on fire. So thanks so much for being with me. See you soon.